What's up YouTube? This is 4th Star TCG and today I have for you guys yet another uh, awesome Japanese BCBM video. It's probably like my third or fourth uh, one of these, but uh, I get a lot of stuff in from Japan every so often. Once I get a bunch of packages in, I make a whole big video showing off all the cards that I've gotten in over the past week or two or so. Because um, making individual BCBM videos, I just don't have the time for that. But um, yeah, so I'll show you guys uh, some of the cards that I got in from Japan. Uh, actually, a couple of these uh, are Japanese, but uh, are not from Japan. Like uh, the first one here, I have this uh, Japanese Salamence EX Delta Species. I've been looking for this card for a very long time. Uh, but I do not need it anymore as I was able to grade one in a PSA 10 and uh, as such this has some edge wear on it, um, probably a PSA 9 or a PSA 8 or uh, something like that. But uh, even if it is a pop one I won't be grading it as I personally don't want to inflate the population report of this card. Uh, but yeah, very beautiful Salamence EX, very happy to have this in my collection. Next up is a Rayquaza EX from the same set. Uh, this card's very interesting. Um, the centering on it is just terrible. Uh, if you guys can see that, it looks kind of good, nice centering at the top. But then when you look down, you see that this border is really uh, wide and this one's really small. So the card is actually skewed. Um, it's sort of tilted, which is really, really not good. Um, usually the centering is even like uniformly bad, um, but this it's sort of... Tilt in is very weird. Um, so this one won't be going off to PSA. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to locate a mint copy of this at some point. But uh, yeah, not able to uh, get this in mint condition, which does kind of stink. But I mean, who knows. Uh, next up we have an Agron EX from the Japanese version of EX Sandstorm. I believe uh, the translation is Miracle of the Desert. Uh, no, is this? I don't think this is gradable. Yeah, just some nicks and such on it that uh, mean this card isn't gradable. Uh, and when I say gradable, I mean a PSA 10. Um, I really try to only grade Japanese EXs that I think will grade PSA 10. So uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a near mint to mint condition card, uh, which is really nice for a card that's so old. This card came out in 2003, but uh, not gradable. No issues uh, I take with it as I do collect uh, Japanese EXs, whether they are gradable or not. So this will be an awesome addition to my collection. And I am sort of on the fence about this last card, which is this Kingdra. Absolutely beautiful, and if I take a look at it, it does look pretty mint. So uh, this one might go off to PSA in my next PSA submission. I know it's only a holo card, but uh, it is it is really nice. It's a beautiful holo card. Um, yeah. So that's going to do it for all the old school cards, and then I have a ton of full arts uh, and such that I picked up. A lot of these are from Bandit Ring and got a couple older cards mixed in here as well. We got a nice thick stack of card savers to go through. Uh, these are these cards are all Japanese, I believe, yes. Uh, so first up we have a Mega Septile EX Full Art from Bandit Ring. This is a beautiful card, one of my favorite cards in the set. Uh, the Full Art artwork in Bandit Ring is just amazing. Really happy uh, that all of the full arts turned out looking really, really nice. And I have two. Uh, I ordered these, uh, a lot of these X and Y7 full arts through a middleman service uh, from Japan. So that means that, I can show you guys those there, but that means that uh, I purchased these off of Yahoo Japan, which is Japan's version of eBay. Uh, run by Yahoo, of course, but they only ship to Japan, so you have to go through a middleman site in order to get these. But the reason you do that is because these cards are much less expensive. Uh, Mega Septile EX Full Arts go for about $30 on eBay, but I was able to pick them up for about, um, I'd say maybe 22 uh, I'd say maybe 20 to $22 once you factor in all the middleman fees and shipping and such. Um, but just the base price for these, I think I paid 1,500 yen for one, which is about $13, maybe 13.50 US. Um, so just an amazing price for these cards. Uh, of course, it is complicated by the middleman fees and such like that, but uh, it does end up being less. Um, and and so the cards are really nice. These all the cards I ordered from uh, Yahoo Japan came in gem mint condition, so they'll definitely be off 
two PSA. So we got two of those. Uh, a big collection goal for me is to get all of the Japanese full art megas in PSA 10. So uh, Mega Sceptile EX, definitely one of my favorite full art megas, uh, probably after the full art primals and Mega Rayquaza, but just beautiful here. Uh, and I have two of them, which is great. So definitely expecting a PSA 10 on at least one of these. And then I also have a Mega Tyranitar EX Full Art. This is just amazing. I think I'll put down the rest of the cards here just to show this card off. Just beautiful. I love the Japanese Full Art Megas because they have the English lettering across, um, across the front of the card. You see Destroyer King. Just insane. Love uh, the yellow accents on Mega Tyranitar EX. Uh, I'm, I'm not too keen on the Full Art... Uh, it's it it definitely looks intimidating, but it's I feel like they could have done some better stuff with it. Uh, of course, it's a beautiful card, but I I, I don't know I was I was kind of looking forward to it going along with the uh, red scheme of the full art uh, Tyranitar EX, but um, yeah, I mean this card is a beautiful card. Super happy to have it, and any card featuring Mega Tyranitar is gonna look really nice. And let's see what's next. Ah, Ultra Rare, Primal Groudon. <laughs> um, these cards are really not going for a lot on uh, eBay and Yahoo Japan. Um, I mean, they're going for good amounts of money, but not not as much as anyone expected because uh, they are a lot easier to pull than people expected. Uh, I bought this Full Art Groudon, uh, Primal Groudon, for I'd say maybe nine hundred, I think it was nine hundred and fifty Japanese yen, and that was the base price. Um, but of course, then you factor in middleman fees. It ended up being about fifteen dollars, but um, yeah, just like fifteen bucks for an ultra rare shiny primal Groudon. Just just uh, a great price for that card, and uh, really looking forward to a PSA ten on this, as uh, hopefully it can uh, join the. Mega Rayquaza and uh, Primal Kyogre that I have off at PSA right now, uh, as and I'm hoping, really hoping for that trio uh, to come through in PSA 10 for me, as uh, that would I, I have all the uh, full arts of uh, Mega Rayquaza, all those I have the regular full arts all in PSA 10, which is great, and another one of my favorite cards from Bandit Ring is Hoopa EX Full Art. Now this I didn't. This I did purchase off of eBay. I think I paid about twenty seven dollars, twenty eight dollars, or something from it. I think I actually bought it from Glade EX. You guys might know him, uh, but yeah, pick this up. Let's just zoom in right there on that artwork for Hoopa Unbound EX Full Art. That's just amazing. This is one of the uh, best designed artworks for full arts. I think uh, it really accents Hoopa's size. Uh, Hoopa, the unbound form of Hoopa is, I think, 21 feet tall or something like that. It's huge. Um, and this really, really uh, sort of lends that, uh, sort of shows that through the card. It's really hard to show a Pokemon size on a card uh, where the card space is limited, but just the angle where you're looking down up at Hoopa and the hands swirling around and everything, it just looks amazing. Really hoping for a PSA 10 on this card. Uh, that would just be fantastic and i paid a lot of, you know i paid almost 30 dollars for this card so i'm definitely hoping for a psa 10 uh, yeah <laughs> next cards i picked up uh not gonna spend a lot of time on these as you guys have probably seen a lot of them uh ladio cx full art and wally full art from emerald break uh i am going after a complete uh, i think uh complete set of emerald break with all the full arts and ultra rares and such graded in a uh, PSA 9 or higher. A lot of them will be 10s, but stuff like the uh, Shaman EX full art and stuff like that, I have it graded in a 9. There's no way I'm spending like 50, 60, 70 dollars on another Shaman EX full art just so I can grade it in a 10, so I can say I have a complete full art set of Emerald Break in PSA 10, because um, I really don't care about like the Shamans and the Winonas. I mean, the full art Megas, the Rayquazas, the Latios, the Galay, that's the cool stuff that I want in PSA 10. But still, would definitely it would make a cool video for me to show off a complete Emerald Break set with all of the full arts and ultra rares graded. So if these come back a ten, which I'm expecting they will, and uh, the couple of Emerald Break cards I have off at PSA come back a ten, which I expect they will, um, 
I'll only be one card away from that complete set. Uh, the Ultra Rare Energy Switch, if you guys have that in mint condition, definitely let me know as I will be interested in purchasing or trading for that. And now the last two cards, uh, some older cards here. Uh, to go along with the Blanks Rayquaza play promo, I did pick up a Blanks Kyogre play, pro play promo. Sorry, that's a little tongue twister right there. But uh, really nice mint condition here. Uh, Going to send it off to PSA, of course, and really hoping for a 10. Just a beautiful card. Um, I'll probably try to go after the set in the PSA 10 eventually. And last up, we have a first edition E-Series Charizard. I love this card. It's really nice. Um, really, the only reason I picked this up was so I could grade it and then sell it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the E-Series cards, uh, it's just amazing artwork, but I really don't collect them. Uh, but, I mean, Charizard, everyone likes Charizard. Uh, I figured I could grade this, get a good price for it, uh, as collecting for me, definitely something I do for fun, of course, but it's also sort of a business. I mean, when you see cards like this, I paid, I think, five bucks for it or something like that. Um, you know you have to pick it up, grade it, sell it, get some money back, and reinvest that into the cards. Uh, so, yeah. Definitely some amazing, amazing cards in this submission, the gradable ones and the non-gradable ones. Definitely the highlights for me are all of these uh, Bandit Ring cards. I mean, how is that for a thumbnail right there? <laughs> all of the Full Art Megas and Hoopa EX Full Art, just amazing. But so really hoping for a PSA 10s on all of these cards when, they, when I send them off. My next PSA submission should come pretty soon. Uh, I'm just waiting for couple more cards, uh, maybe a couple sales on eBay to go through, and uh, we'll figure all that out. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stick around for more videos.